Today we're speedrunning through Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and we're going to get a gold medal on every single sport while playing on the hardest difficulty. Now we'll start our speedrun with the 100 meter dash, and as soon as we click on it, we're also going to start our timer. And of course, we're going to choose Sonic, because who else are you going to choose for a race? Now this first one is pretty simple, but I am going to be using motion controls because it lets you go faster. But right at the start, we are going to want to charge up and start running as soon as it says go, so we can get a little bit of a boost, and as you can see, with Sonic and the motion controls we beat everybody very easily and that's the first one done which now means it's time for the four times 100 relay which we're going to choose a bunch of sonic characters and yoshi for now the reason we choose these characters is they all have the speed attribute each character has something they're good at some are good at starts some are good at their dashes but we want to go for the fast characters because it just makes sense for races, you know? And the thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using my super dash early because sometimes it gives us that effect where it lets us pass the baton earlier and yeah, we just beat everybody nice and easily. Look at that beautiful group of characters. And next we have the javelin throw, which we're going to use Daisy for. And the reason to use Daisy is her power meter is going to extend faster and we want it to be full power. Then we can start aiming our javelin and we're going to want to go for 35 degrees. I did mess up that time, but we get another try anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we can do the exact same thing, aiming up our power, lifting our arm, and starting to aim, and I just have to aim a bit higher, now I know I can get that 33 degrees, which is still going to give me a perfect power throw, and we make it just far enough to get this gold medal. You'll see right there that we beat everybody, and we're going to be on the top of the podium. And that also means that we're finally done with motion controls, because they're only really good for races, so when we're going into the hurdles, I'm finally going to switch over to my pro controller, and we're going to be using Princess Peach for this one. That's because she gives us a faster super start and that's really important for these hurdles so for this race i really want to be perfect on this super start going as soon as it says go and i also need to be perfect on all of these jumps we have eggman right behind us i guess he does mess up there so it wasn't that hard to win but usually it's at least a little bit of a challenge but that means we got all the running ones done which is a huge relief because those ones are so annoying and we can go into dream racing which we're going to use our boy mario for so this is the first dream event which is no longer an Olympic sport and is just something they made up, but they're always pretty fun. Now the thing we're going to want to focus on is always getting these perfects and just making sure we go the fastest path. Also, as soon as I hit the ground every single time, I want to press A and that's also going to give me a boost of speed. So you'll see me going on all of these jumps, pressing A so we get that boost. And I'm also going to be going for coins because as soon as we get 40, our skateboard or whatever this is supposed to be is going to upgrade. So right here, I'm going to take this path so I can get those coins right there. I just have to grind on that press a as soon as i hit the ground again and princess peach might be a bit above me and that was actually really annoying but i can take this path to get the rest of my coins and i also have a speed up item so yeah this sport is kind of just a worse version of mario kart which is kind of funny but it's surprisingly fun i just wish they had more maps to play on it does make sense because you know they're not going to invest too much stuff into a mario and sonic game and this game is surprisingly fun i'm surprised i never picked it up on the switch before i decided to speed run it because i used to love the mario and sonic games especially the ones on my wii i would play these all the time with my older brother and my younger sister and yeah they're just great games and this one is no exception but we're finally getting to the end of the map i just have a little bit of grinding i have to do and we can do one more jump do another perfect landing and we'll make it to the end of the map right here which you'll also see that there is no one even close to me peach is finally catching up but yeah they're kind of slow it's just too easy for mario but now it's time for the triple jump and we're going to be using waluigi that's because his perfect jumps are easier and the running section isn't too hard i just have to spam a a little bit and before this line i want to press x which i actually messed up but this is another one where you get two tries so it doesn't really matter yeah you don't have to show me that replay make me feel sad all right why you have to do that to me game but like i said we get another try i just have to make sure i don't mess this up so i jumped way before the line because we can do our super jump which is just kind of funny yeah you're so behind that. But we're still better than everyone else because we got those perfect jumps. We beat all of our opponents, and I don't know how Bowser got second place. He's kind of awesome at this. But now it's time for a run killer, which is going to be Discus Throw. So we can start right here, and we do have this practice, which I actually messed up. So one weird thing about the practice in this game is if you actually do the practice, which all I did was swing back my arm, then it will give you a smaller throw in the future. So I'm going to hope this is going to be enough, but that does not look 
look like it is. Yeah, so it literally detracted five meters from my throw. And maybe I can get it this one. Like, I got the perfect throw and it still didn't win, which is really annoying. I just have to aim this up. I used the E to aim it and yeah, that was too much power. Okay, a tiny bit of a time loss right here. But there are so many hard sports that even if we get a few mess ups, we can still very easily get world record because this game is very hard to do perfectly. And you'll see, I had a worse throw right there, but we still got much farther and yeah it just feels so bad but yeah like i said even if we mess up in a few sports here and there we can still get world record which is all i really care about because if i was trying to get the perfect run i would be here for years but hey we won that one and now we can move on finally which means it's time for sports climbing and of course we have to use our boy wario now sports climbing is one of my favorite things to do basically what you have to do is go and grab these things at the right time as soon as my hand overlaps with that thing i want to go and press the l or r button and it's not too difficult once you get the hang of it i just go little by little and also i'm going much faster than i actually need to because to get the gold medal even on very hard difficulty it's just not that hard the cpus are not good at this game but you know i might as well be cool and we're also going to get our super jumps right here which i have to press the l and r button at the right place but again not too difficult so we still have 45 seconds unfortunately there's no way to speed this up this is one of the sports where you just have to do it and wait out the time the only thing that really matters is i don't mess anything up and i beat the second place person so we can see their line right there it's going to be the blue one and as soon as i touch this heart there we go i beat him but i decided might as well and try to beat my world record as well because you can see my line is right there and i still have 12 seconds so might as well flex a little bit all right we can make it a little bit higher maybe we can make it to 80 meters we only have one second wario okay well 78 is still pretty good good job wario we're all proud of you and now it's time for surfing and who's a better surfer than an alligator or a crocodile it's one of those someone's gonna be mad at me in the comments but we got vector and this is one of the weirdest sports i would say because it's really inconsistent and it all comes down to luck like sometimes you're gonna get bigger waves and sometimes you're gonna get smaller ones but as long as we get a bunch of perfects which is when we do the tricks exactly when we need to and that's also nice because that gave us a big amount in our super meter but as long as we do these perfects we should be fine we just want to fill up our super meter and get a bunch of points and if we're able to reach 500 points before the two minutes is up we're gonna be good so i'm gonna use my super trick right there so now all of my next jumps are also gonna be really good i also want to make sure i don't do the grind that's like inside the wave because that just won't give us as many points as doing these tricks will and it just makes more sense to do this get all my points and we're almost at 400 we still have a minute left this should be easy so again all i have to worry about is doing these perfect timings and we have a few tricks i mean this is one of the most fun games it's just also pretty stressful or at least it was when i was worse at the game i could not beat the hardest cpus but at this point we're already almost up to 500 points and we're about to get another super so we should be fine because along with everything else the super is always going to give you 100 points so there we go we're now above 500 and I might as well see how many I can get because I have the time. I believe my record is about 680, so maybe we can beat it, but I'm not sure. Okay, we're really gonna try. Come on, Vector, you can do it. Oh, he just lost to our world record. Uh, it's okay. Because we still beat everybody by a mile, and yeah, it wasn't even a competition. And now something else that's not even gonna be a competition is dream shooting, which I'm gonna choose my boy Bowser Jr. for. Now, this one is pretty easy. All we really have to do is hit all of our targets, and make sure we get them in a combo. So I'm gonna keep trying to hit them as fast as possible, and I already have a predefined route that I'm gonna take. So I get those ones on that side, then I come over here where I have to get these ones, and I can also hit that switch, get those ones as well. And yeah, you just get the targets. It's not the hardest thing in the world, especially because the CPUs aren't really gonna challenge me. They are kinda close to me right now, and I'm also realizing that my timer is covering one of them. Whatever, he doesn't matter anyways. But around this time, we're gonna wanna get closer to the center. We also want to get a couple of multi shots and come over here. And this is because this is when the fun part comes out and we get all of these guys who are going to want to shoot in the face. So they're going to give us extra points, especially if we can shoot them multiple times and also if we can finish them off with our multi shots. So that's basically the strategy. I just want to be the one to finish them off. These other people are being very annoying and trying to take my kills, but we're now very ahead of everyone else. So more or less, we do the exact same thing. And yeah, I'm not going to bore you through this. I'm pretty much just taking the exact same route and trying to keep my combo meter 
meter up as much as possible. But after a bit of shooting around, once it gets to 30 seconds, this is when the big guy is going to come out. This dude gives you tons of points, so we're going to want to hit him a lot. And of course, we want to aim for his face just like usual and use all of our multi shots. So yeah, pretty simple thing. He's not too hard to hit. Of course, everyone's going to be aiming for him. I want to get the most shots though, because I am so close to a thousand points. I've never actually been able to get that, but we still need 50 more and we only have eight seconds. I might be able to get the thousand. Like I said, I've never been able to do this. I'm going to win regardless, but come on. No, Bowser Jr., you could have done it, man. Well, I guess we won at least. Kind of a hollow victory. But after that, it's time for skateboarding, which we're going to choose Peach for. And that's because she has tighter turns, so it makes it a bit easier. But as you can see, we need more than 580 points. And skateboarding is probably one of the hardest sports for me. The basic idea is we want to do tricks or grind on different areas of this place. And you can see by the strips that there are, you'll see that some go up. That means we want to do a trick. And some have a grinding thing, so we want to do that instead. So I don't really have a path I want to take, but I want to hit as many strips of these as possible because that's what's going to be getting us the most points. But that's also easier said than done because yeah, this is kind of a wonky mini game. It is one of my favorites. I do really love it, but sometimes it feels really weird. Peach does help with that with having the tighter turns. But yeah, we just have to go through. I can do a jump right there and then hopefully I can go over here and grind to the right. I don't have it as much speed as I would like, but we're doing pretty well so far. But okay, come on, Peach. All right, we missed one of those grind sections. That's okay. I can go and do a trick. Oh, my trick did not come out. That's fine. We can come up here. We only have 20 seconds left and we still have a lot we have to do. So hopefully I can get that. All right, Peach, you only have so many points. Um, this is sending me in a really weird direction. Uh, I only have so I have to get this grind and I have to get a ton of points from that. Otherwise, we are going to have to restart this one, which is really not what I want to do. And yeah, we got 560. Like I said, world record is still very possible with a few mistakes, even though this one kind of hurts. But we're going to restart from here. And you already saw this one, so I'm not going to bore you again and probably focus up. Okay, there we go. I'm getting more perfects, which is one of the most important things. But yeah, I'll focus up and let you know once we get nearer to the end. Okay, we have 20 seconds left and we are in a much better place. You can see we're already at 530 points. That should give us some more. I can do this grind right here, which of course course those strips is going to be good and there we go we should be fine okay we need like a little bit more points come on that should be enough and there we go okay that is gold medal yeah skateboarding is very stressful but we won the second one so take that bowser and shadow all right on to an easier event it's time for boxing and we're going to go back to our friend vector unfortunately we will be facing off against dr eggman which is kind of bad rng but it should be fine my basic strategy is exactly what i'm doing i'm not going to block at all all i do is hit him with three punches in a row so i do two jabs to his top and then i do one bright hook and that's literally the exact same thing i do every single time he he did get me with a super move, but that shouldn't matter too much. It is a little annoying because now I have to do this whole down animation where we have to press A repeatedly, but since it's our first down, I'm not too worried about it. So we're just going to go ahead, use our same strategy again, but Dr. Eggman is very good at defending. This is why I didn't want to face off against him, but we got him right there. That's his first down. Yeah, just stay on the ground, dude. Okay, that was very fast, but now I'm going to want to use my own combo punch, which is going to give me another knockout. Anytime you get a combo punch, it's an automatic knockout. I mean, obviously not like the knockout of finishing the game, but just another one is always going to be good because we're getting rid of his stamina. I do want to be careful though, because he has a chance chance to get a knockout thankfully I was able to guard it which is very nice because that would have just lost me a little bit of time and I'm just gonna go back to the same old strategy it's actually super funny that this strategy works so well but that's also gonna be the end of the first round now I think we can take out Dr. Eggman in the second round but not if he keeps being so good at defending but he has his super again so I'm gonna be very careful Thankfully, I was able to guard it. And now we're just going to chill, knock him down one more time. And come on, man. I know you want to stay down. Why are you so good at this? Stop it. Yeah, he made it up. But I think one more knockout might take him out. And we almost have our super meters. So that is going to be good as well. We can get that right there. And I'm going to time it so I can get it right there, get the combo punch. And I think this will be it. Worst comes to worst, we just have to knock him out one more time. But I also don't really want to deal with his super meter again. He's getting that a lot. But he might barely not be able to do this 10 seconds and there we go we won that was way too close for comfort but take that dr eggman that's why you should always choose an alligator for boxing and that leads us into karate which is another one which is really hard for me but i'm gonna choose my boy tails now karate has ruined so 
many of my runs. But the basic strategy I'm going to use is pretty much just using the grabbing. That's always going to give us two points and we have to get 10 points total. So right at the start, I'm going to grab once. He goes for a power move and I can grab him again. Yeah, thank you, Yoshi. You're making this very easy for me. Okay, a grab. He went for another power move. Thank you very much. And we'll do the grab. That's six points. All right, surely he will not do it again. Come okay, I was kind of hoping he would do it again. And he's getting a little bit of points. I have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to go for my same general strategy though and do my grabs get eight points right there so one more grab should finish him off i just want to be careful about it but there we go that is 10 points and we got done with one of the most stressful games you'll also see right here that there's one more person on the podium for third place even though he didn't even see them but it is kind of funny how they give that to a random person but now it's time for football and for this one i like to have dk two fast characters and also silver since he's good at stealing balls and i have one of my favorite strategies for this one we're basically Basically, we want to pass it to one of the fast characters and go straight down the middle. The CPUs do not know what they should do for this, and we get a free goal as soon as we pass it. And that is actually like really consistent, which is surprising. The goalie does not know what to do, even though he could have easily saved that. So at this point, I want to steal the ball again and just make sure that they're not able to score. But they're getting pretty good at that. I guess good job, Silver. I'd rather you have kept the ball. But we really want to get this ball and come on, get, get it out of there. Thank you, Birdo. I really appreciate that. They also have a super shot, which I do not want them to use. And what was that? Birdo. <laughs> okay, uh, Tails goes for that. Thankfully, Birdo is the greatest goalie of all time. And <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to. Please don't score. I do not want you to score. This is so stressful. I promise. I have a strategy once we get the ball. Okay, there we go. DK, pass it. Tails. T stop. Tails. Okay, it's, it's okay. We're just going to pass it to Sonic. And now we can go for our strategy. So basically, all I want to do is pass it between the people and run around. There's only going to be the one person on offense that's going to try to hit me. So I can go around this. Bowser is so slow that we just get to keep the ball. But of course, it's going to be halftime. And after that, they get to start with the ball. So we have to steal it again. All right, Mario, do not do anything tricky. Bowser goes for the beautiful shot. And please, Birdo! All right, this is a tiny bit of a time loss, but it should still be okay. We just have to score once more. And it gives me a chance to show off the exact same strategy again i just go down the center we'll pass it over here we pass it to sonic which i guess bowser was there but that's fine we have a corner kick we have dk right there he can use a super shot and that might make it in okay just barely we get another corner kick though and i think dk can do it this time there we go and that is going to be 2-1 so now we just really need to keep this ball but i guess first i need to get it thankfully mario has a terrible shot I get it to one of my fast characters and it is time to use the strategy. Mario is just trying to catch up to all my people with his stubby legs while we're just running around. This is actually the saddest thing of all time. I love this strategy so much because the CPUs do not catch on at all and they just keep running around. Oh, this is so great. Yeah, we just have to wait for time to be up and there we go. We won 2-1. Yep, this really is the dream team. And it's time for our last dream game, which is going to be Dream Karate. I'm going to choose my boy Sonic because he's fast, but this is one of the most inconsistent games just because anything can happen and it's kind of luck based. But as you can see, my strategy is just to go around and kick people. If you kick people, they get knocked out right away and we can use their corpse to get us points. I'll also use that item right there, which now when I kick people, I get an extra boost. But Amy, stop hitting me. <laughs> I am in first place, so it's not too bad right now. I'm going to keep trying to kick around. We can also get this Chaos Emerald and that's going to give me an automatic super so I can use my super right here and that will give us a ton of different spaces. So we're doing pretty well right now. We have 34 points and no one is even near to us, but I want to make sure I can keep this lead. So we're just going to go around, try to dodge people around and the board is going to switch. And at this point, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to kick people, but Amy is going to use her special right there, which just gave her a ton of stuff. She is now beating me. Okay. That is not the best, but DK is also going to use this thing and he actually steals some of Daisy's stuff. Okay. And then Amy uses it and now I'm okay. Now Amy's winning. Um, we need to be Amy. How does she have so much of the board? Okay. Either I need to do something or one of them need to do something because I do not want to lose this one. But DK uses the pow block, steals some of Amy's spaces, and I think he just got me the win. I literally have no spaces on this board right now, but <laughs> this 
able to win. That is hilarious. Uh, gotta love that victory. Very much deserved too. All right, the dream events are done and now it's time for rugby, which rugby is such a fun event. I'm also gonna randomly pick my people because it doesn't really matter, but I absolutely love playing rugby in this game. First of all, we're gonna wanna do the kickoff. And yeah, basically all we have to do is tackle their team to try to get the ball for ourselves. So we can do it right there. Come Waluigi, there we go. That is going to be ours. And all we really need to do is get one point, but of course they take the ball back. But a quick tackle should get it back to us. Why is Bowser right there? All right, my team, please. My team is actually throwing right now. It should be fine. There's still plenty of time. We just want to make sure that they're not able to score because then we're going to have to score twice and that's just a little bit of a hassle. But they are actually the greatest passers of all time. We could have just picked up that ball, but we went for the face off. That's okay. My boy is right there. Sonic can take it from there. And please, okay, Daisy's right. I did not pass it soon enough. I know this commentary is amazing, but don't worry. Uh, it should be fine. There's only five seconds. We can just get our points in the second half, but I do have to make sure that they're not able to score. We have to wait for this extra time, but if we wait it out just a little bit, we should be fine. Daisy's gonna have the ball right there. We're all gonna come and try to attack her, and he uses his special. This is not a good thing, okay? It should be fine. He uses his special too, and he goes, I don't think they got the points. Yeah, he definitely should have gotten those points, but because he went for the stylish victory, he didn't get them for his team. That is hilarious. Okay, please. I just need to play this kind of okay. They're going to steal the ball. We're going for it. I promise this doesn't always go this badly, but you know, it's not going that badly. No one has scored yet. I just need a single point and I should be fine. All right, Sonic, we're going to use your special right there, which is going to help him run super fast. No one is able to catch up to me, but the longer you run with the ball, the slower you're going to get. He will catch up to me, but we have Wario right there. He has a special as well. I can jump over these people. I can try and there we go. That's our points. Now, just just in case we are also going to go for the extra points because what if they score and then we lose i don't really want that but we have 20 seconds plus extra time that we have to survive so really all i want is this ball if i can get the ball i can just play defense and i'll be completely fine but they're going to use their specials and stuff tails how did you miss that tails come on buddy but sonic has it right there i have a bunch of people with their specials so i can use those to help me pad out time because of course they give us the extra boost to speed and i'm kind of just gonna hang out i don't really care about getting any any more points because we're already winning and there we go that's full time and that is the most stressful rugby game i have ever played but now it's time for the canoe and we're going to be using the dream team of eggman and yoshi that's because eggman has a super start and yoshi is just fast in general so we can go right here and we're going to want to start right away we did pretty good for that one but now all i want to focus on is paddling at the same time as yoshi he completely controls the tempo i just have to follow it and this is kind of a close race there's the tails and i think that's metal sonic team in the back but we're able to catch up because i keep getting these perfect paddles pretty much as long as you do the paddles perfectly it should be fine and right at the end we pick up the pace and we should be winning this one nice and easy so yeah what a beautiful team victory and this is actually the funniest duo i have ever seen in my life i love how we're able to use them but we're moving on to swimming and this time we're going to be using daisy and swimming is probably one of the most stressful sports first of all i have to time this exactly so i can get a good start that one was okay and then we want to swim at a really good tempo so we're just below the end so we can get our super bar up but we don't mess anything up I'm going to do my turn right there and I am in fourth. So this is a little bit scary and yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to win this one. We'll have to restart. All right, Daisy, please don't mess this up this time. Or I guess it's more of my fault to be completely honest, but we are in first place right now. So this should be fine. I'm going to do my little turn. I will turn a little bit early because maybe that helps. I don't know, but we have our super ready. So I'm going to use it right there and then flick my left stick as fast as possible. And there we go. That is a first place. Not too much of a time loss either because this is such a quick event. So we're actually doing pretty good. We can very easily get the world record run right here. But before we get to that, it's time for some gymnastics with our boy Bowser. So right away, we want to press A, and then we just have to follow the command prompts. And then as soon as we touch the ground, we flick down with our left stick. And yeah, that's basically the beginning. We do this again. It's BB and twirl. And then we flick down nice and easy. Now you don't have to be perfect for this one to win, but we want to be pretty close. We can do a turn right there. Then we press X and then one more turn. And now it is time for 
for the most impressive thing that Bowser has ever done in his life. Like, I don't know how he's doing this with this shell on his back, but he has the greatest core strength I've ever seen. And now we can do this one where it's a bit more complicated, but still not too hard. I just want to make sure I don't mess up that landing. And now it's time for the last trick where we have to rotate our left stick as many times as possible. I already have it perfect, but we're going to go even farther. And then all we have to do is stick the landing. I will take a great. And that is going to give us almost 16 points and the win. Yeah, Bowser just proved all the haters wrong. And now it's time for a really fun event, which is the equestrian one. Now, obviously we have to choose Princess Peach because I mean, she has the outfit, but we're going to charge up right at the beginning. And this is a pretty easy one. We basically just want to go for some pretty good jumps and we can use our stamina to go faster as we're going through the course, as well as pressing A as soon as we hit the ground with the horse, which gives us an extra boost of speed. So I'm going to do that every single time just to get that little extra boost and try to have my landings be perfect. All right, just another jump right here. We still have a fair amount of stamina, so I will use it right there as well. Get another perfect timing. And here's where I'm going to decide to use my super, which Peach is actually insane. I do not feel like this is very safe, but she is very confident in her horse abilities. And that lets us refill all of our stamina so we can finish out this race. The nice thing about Peach is she has those tight turns. So then we can finish out right there, get that little jump, and we very easily won this race. I also got a new record, which is kind of insane. But yeah, I like that one. Oh yeah, Dr. Eggman is also looking very stylish. Maybe I should have picked him. But we're going to pick him in the next sport because it's time for badminton. Now, Dr. Eggman is really good at badminton because he has really good precision and he also has the really long arms. So we're basically going to go for this strategy where we switch from going back and going forward and... How did I miss that? Okay, you know, a little bit of a struggle and then I missed the game. Okay, we're just gonna restart this one really quick. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta love when that stuff happens. But anyways, as I was saying, our basic strategy is going to be switching between going from the back of the court to the front of the court. In Wario, he is actually going to tire out because of the strategy. We did get really good luck with having him being our opponent because it looks like he tires out really fast. So yeah. <laughs> We're just getting these easy points. I'm not going to lie. I expected our opponent to be a little bit harder than this, but apparently if you get Wario, that's the best RNG you can get. We just have to finish him off right here. He did get a second little chance at life, but there we go. We finished him off before he could use a super. Gotta love Dr. Eggman's winning animation. And then it's time for table tennis and we're gonna be using Knuckles. Now Knuckles has the power behind him. So basically what you're gonna see me doing is always charging up so I can get the strongest shots possible. The CPU has no idea what to do against this. So I'm just gonna keep switching direction and getting a point. I also wanna serve as low as possible because sometimes you can get the ace, but it doesn't look like I'll need it. Come on, Knuckles. Okay, sometimes also the paddle is really weird and it doesn't let you hit the ball as soon as you would like to. So I kind of just spam the hit button a lot of the times because it doesn't really matter if you do spam in this game. It's kind of hilarious. And you can see it's working because now I have three points. All right, two more points, Knuckles. We can go for a couple of these. And yeah, it's basically just the same strategy every time. We did mess up right there and right there, but it should be fine because that actually isn't that hard to deal with. And then we can use a couple of our own power hits. And this dude is an absolute unit. I do have my super shot, but I want to save it for my next one. So there we go. But he also has a super shot. So I probably want to wait for him to... Oh, he used it right there. And I also missed. Not too much of a problem though, because he'll hit it right back. I can use my super shot. And that's going to finish him off nice and easily 5-1. And that means there are only two more sports in the modern field before we go back to 1964. And for this next one, we're going to be doing fencing with tails, which we're going to be facing off against Bowser. <laughs> this is an interesting matchup. But basically what we want to do for this is just always stay out of his range and then try to stab him as much as possible. You know, it's just kind of fencing. It doesn't matter too much if he gets some parries and stuff like that, but he just got two in a row. Okay, this guy is insane. He's also going to use a super right there, but because Tails is really good at stepping, we can step away from that and not let a super hit us before using our super as well and gaining a bunch of points. He's going to use his and unfortunately that one did hit us. Okay, that's fine. I have the adrenaline rush and we just have to hit him three more times. I do want to be careful because I don't want him to parry me, but I'm going to go for a couple stabs. And we also have our super again, so this should finish him off. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Yeah, we've always known Tails is an absolute monster with this stuff. And now it's time for archery, and we're gonna be using Amy. Now, archery is interesting because I don't wanna get too many points because that is going to lose a little bit of time. But basically, if we hit the center of this board two times, and we just missed both of those, but like I said, that should be fine because I don't need too many points. But like I was saying, if we hit the center of this board two times, then you'll see we get a super meter. And once we get the super, 
it's going to give us double points. So I don't want to hit the center too many times because every time we do the super, it gives us a bit of a longer animation. So now I get to do my super shot. We get a little bit of a long animation. Like I said, we didn't want to see that twice because that would waste some time and we get another 19 points. So now all I have to do is finish this out. Thankfully, the CPUs aren't that good at this game, so that should be fine and that should give us first place. You'll see that we got 74 points and uh Mario beat us by like 0.1. You've got to be kidding me. All right, I'm going to try this again and let you know how it went. Oh my God. What? That might have been a mistake. <laughs> So what just happened there? I was focusing up doing my super shot and it just released by itself. I don't even know how to describe that. I really hope we're still going to be able to get enough points, but that should not have happened. Come on, Amy. I really don't want to restart this one one more time. Okay. We have 69 points. Sometimes they only have like 64 and come on, Mario. Gotta love my controller doing that. All right. One more time. I promise I'm just going to try. We're just going to go for a world record here. I don't care. Yeah. We're going to get the center every single time. I'll be back once it's done. Now I have been focusing up really hard for this one. We didn't get this two super shots this time, but it was a really good result. We got 76 and this time our second place only got 63. Oh, that kind of hurts, but <laughs> at least we finished the sport. And again, we can still get world records, so it shouldn't be a problem. So now we're into the 1964 games, and the first one we have is the sprint one. I don't worry too much about the start, because if we get a false start, it'll make us lose, and since I can tap pretty fast, we can finish out the race and beat out everyone very easily. I guess I should also explain what these exactly are. Basically, they're a bunch of Olympic sports, Sports, but they're made to be when everyone is really old. We're all in our sprite forms and it's a pretty cool thing. So for this next one, my start actually does kind of matter because this is going to be hurdles and some people are a little bit ahead of me, but as long as I get these perfect hurdles, we should be ahead of them at the end. So I just want to time these very well. You can see that Eggman is starting to slow down a bit. He's probably just getting good hurdles, but I'm getting these perfect ones and we can just barely beat him. He is catching up, but that should be our win. Yeah, I gotta love these ones. It's also really nice how fast they are. But now we have the jumping one. So basically we're gonna speed up Bowser and right when we hit this line, I'm going to aim for a perfect 45 degrees and that was actually perfect. Gives us eight meters, which I have never gotten before. So that means we are very certain that we're gonna win. And for the rest of these jumps, I can just do that. And yeah, look, I tried. They do have three attempts you have to do. But like I said, we don't really have to worry about actually doing well at these. So we're just going to jump as soon as possible to save a little bit of time and get Bowser that first place medal. But now it's time for one of the hardest events in this entire game, which is Marathon. So for this event, I choose Peach just because I want to. And basically what we want to do is use our boosts in very specific moments. You'll see I have an energy bar at the top and I'm using my different boosts pretty much every second. So I can always keep max speed. Then I can get some recharge right there by getting some water and also use these things like tornadoes to give me some extra speed as well. There are also split screens, which are these people. And if you run behind them, it will also give you some extra energy. So we're going to be using that throughout the run. You know, we're just trying to go fast, dodge that Koopa or hammer bro, whatever he's going to be. Look, I do not have time to think. I'm just trying to go fast. We can now hang out behind these guys. So we get a ton of energy and we just want to make sure that we don't make any big mistakes. We can make a couple of small ones and it should be fine. But if we fall down or get in a big collision, that will ruin the run and we'll have to restart it. So I can get a nice split screen. Those guys were completely blocking me. That was just kind of rude, but that's fine. We're almost done with the race now. I can get this nice boost pad, get one of those good waters. And we have another split screen, which we're a little too close to these people that I'm comfortable with, but we got out of there nice and easily. We can use another tornado or I guess I missed that and get another water. This should still be fine. We're in the top 13 now and we only have a little bit left. There's also another split screen I can use, which I actually don't know if it's called split it's probably not i'm just calling it something that it doesn't matter all right we're just using the behinds of people anyways let's finish out this race i'm gonna use all my energy at the end so i can beat this little pig and that is going to be a first place and i am very surprised because i got one of the hardest events done in only one try and that feels really good but now it's time for the 10 meter platform which we're going to use tails for now this event is kind of annoying because basically you have four different dives and none of the dives matter except for the last one like even though i got a perfect dive right there you'll see that i only got 56 points and i guess my timer is blocking it right now so sorry about that but the score we have to beat is like 97 so we'll just skip till the last dive when we can actually beat the score okay so final dive time i want to take the second to last one and i just have to be very
very fast on this one and we have to hit all of these inputs so we can get the extra points the extra bonus multiplier and a three times one should be perfect and as you can see this is just gonna barely get us the first place oh that one was way too close for comfort but now it's time for the vault which of course you got to use dr eggman for this and we're gonna go for the super hard jump because obviously we have to this is the hardest difficulty in this sport is pretty simple basically i want to get up my speed at the beginning we want to get the perfect jump there and then we match all of these inputs and we actually did it really well right there and all we have to do is land and we should be good that's going to be a 9.5 score which should give us first place but of course we still have a second attempt we have to do so i don't really care about this one we're just gonna have fun with it <laughs> dr eggman did not have the best jump of his life got all zeros right there but it doesn't matter because we still got first place because of the first jump and now we have the kayak one which we're going to be using knuckles for now i am terrible at the start of the kayak and getting a good start so i don't even really try because we have plenty of time to speed up and catch up to bowser so what i want to do is stay within these green lines you'll see that i'm doing it pretty well and then right when we get to the end i want to rotate my stick as fast as possible and we can just beat bowser to take that first place this race is always really stressful but we get that first place and there we go which means we have three events left and we're going to start those three with judo and we'll use our boy luigi and it's actually funny because we're facing off against mario we're finally able to get our revenge but what i'm going to want to do is counter mario's grabs now i did mess up right there but it doesn't really matter because basically only the last few grabs actually do anything you'll see that our bar is getting smaller and smaller and I actually got a Waza Ari there, which I was not expecting. That kind of sucks because we want to just get the knockout, but at least it's one point that should be fine. I'm going to keep trying to do my counters. Mario's going to be able to get me there. And you can see my bar is red now, which is not a good thing. Hopefully I'm able to counter him, but I do mess it up right there. So the bar is so small right now. And if I mess up a tiny bit, then Mario's going to be able to knock me down. And yeah, he got a point, but that's fine. I just need to not mess up. I did right there but the bar is big enough so it doesn't really matter yet i just have to play kind of well let me get the second counter i didn't get the second counter but again bar is not too bad just have to make sure i don't play but it should be fine it should be fine come on luigi <laughs> um this is a little bit stressful come on and uh, yeah we're gonna have to retry you know not my best performance but i'm gonna do better this time and it looks like we can't get sub one hour but i'm still gonna go for sub 110 and we can still get that world record so now it's time mario's bar is very small i can easily finish him off right here if he just stumbles a little bit and okay we only got the wazari so basically sometimes you can get the one hit kill and i am going for that i don't really know what gives you the one hit kill compared to having to use two hits but it does lose a little bit of time when you don't get that one hit i guess this is a little bit safer doing it this way i mean as long as i don't get completely destroyed by mario but his bar is very small if i just hit him a little bit we should win this judo match but he is trying really hard okay that was actually really impressive and he engaged me I mean, my bar isn't too bad, so if I just focus up, it should be fine. And come on, please. There we go. That should be enough to finish him off. Goodbye, Mario. I proved that I'm the better brother once and for all. That was seriously such a stressful game. But only two events left, and now we have volleyball. I'm gonna go with Mario because might as well. And volleyball is one of the most annoying sports for speedrunning. I think it's actually really fun, but it's so hard to progress fast. So basically, the general idea is we wanna jump, spike on the other side, and then they're gonna try to do it themselves you can see him going up for the spike us switching off and yeah not too much to say about this sport all we want to do is be able to get those points we can also block right there which sometimes i do but blocking is a little bit risky as well i mean it's working out pretty well but yeah they'll go for another spike we can go and get that come on mario what was that dude but yeah you get the general idea not my greatest start because i am down two points but okay, that was good. Now the unfortunate thing you'll see is that doesn't actually give us a point though, because the only way to get a point is if you were the one who served it. And to serve it, you have to get a point, which doesn't give you a point. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but basically that's what makes these games so slow because they won't just get their point. We get our point right there, but if they were to score, they would have just gotten the serve and stayed at two points. I think I explained that well enough, but yeah, overall just kind of a boring sport to try to speed run. So we'll skip to the end. All right, we're finally at match point all we have to do is make it to six and yeah we've been doing pretty well so far this has taken a ton of time just because that's kind of what volleyball does but i just want to make sure that i'm able to beat these guys and we don't have this going on forever 
But there we go, they actually hit the net, so that's going to be six points for Mario and another victory for me, which means it's finally time for the very last sport, which is going to be shooting. Now, this sport is pretty simple. Basically, we have to shoot these things. As soon as they get in our square, we just have to press the right button. You know, not really the most complicated thing in the world. And if we're successful with it, we're gonna get extra bonus time. Oh, also, I should probably move my timer up here so you can see my bonus time, the things I do for content. But anyways, we're just gonna go through and we just have a bunch of different stages this really isn't that difficult. But yeah, I just want to go fast. And yeah, with this final game, we should be able to get the world record and the sub 110. So now it's time for my last shot before we go into bonus time. So I can just hit that right there, get an extra 15 seconds. And now it's time for bonus time. Basically what happens here is it's just a constant array of all of these discs and we just have to shoot them as much as possible. So we're able to get first place. Yeah, not too much to explain here, but this is actually a really fun mini game. I do enjoy it a lot because I mean, it's simple, but you kind of just go by, hit all these discs and we're coming up on the end right here. So I'll just get a few more points and this should be more than enough to get us this win. Yeah, we got way more than tails, but we also have to beat everyone else. The next best place was 44 points and we can end off time right there. 109 39. And you know how I was saying we might be able to be world record? But we did, because there wasn't a world record. I am the only person who has ever done this run before. So hey, I'll take it. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.